Welcome to this session for Embrace the Red. Today we talk about tap nabbing. Something you might have heard and wondering what it actually is about. Let's dive right into it. So imagine you're browsing the internet and you click a link and that link actually opens in a separate uh, tab that you click on. In this case, the developer of a web play application might use target with a blank like attribute or they do window.open and then what happens is the second tab is being opened in the browser, right? So it happens all the time when you browse the web. What is now so special is that in the second tab, if this is now on a web page that is malicious, right? Something attacker controlled, the the author of that application of that second page can basically navigate and steer away the original page you can frame came came from so you might actually not even notice this so remember i imagine you you browse google or some other web page and you open a new link and you keep or emails you get you open new links and you have like 20 like tabs open and then an hour later you want to go back and log into your google account but then you don't remember exactly which one it is but oh you find the one that shows the google login page uh, and in reality it was a page that some other website navigated this particular tab to it is not the true google like login page this is sort of this real kind of risk that comes with this attack so it's about phishing basically so that an adversary redirects the page you came from that is in a different tab to a phishing page and then you end up like, navigating to that and you think you're on the right page but in reality you actually ended up on an adversary's page. Let's look at how this looks in code. So you have that source page. This is the, the first page and as I mentioned uh, there's two ways to open um, a window in, in a new uh, tab which is using target underscore blank or another option is using window.open a javascript call and that will then create a second uh, tab for the uh, destination and in if this is happening and the attacker the link that is linked to is attacker controlled right the attacker then on the attack page can redirect this original page to any other site they would like to. In this case, they just call window.opener.location and redirect the original page somewhere else. So this is really as simple as it as it gets. Uh, let me show you, uh, let me use mouse real quick, and let me show you a little demo of this. So you are here, you click a particular link in a web application, opens a separate tab, you are in this other application, totally different domain, but now when you click that button, it redirects the first tab away. Did you see that? So you see the first tab was changed and redirected to another. And that is basically what tap nabbing is. And in order to mitigate this problem, uh, there is very simple ways to do it actually. So if you do window.open in your own page and redirect to other sites, you can specify the no opener attribute or flag command line or not command line argument and that will then prevent and destroy this uh, reference the new tab has to the original tab so this is one mitigation the second one that actually is already present in firefox for multiple years is this rel uh, is this href uh, setting where you can say no opener rel no opener and that will also prevent and mitigate this problem in fact, in Firefox, as I mentioned, this actually is already the default. So even if you don't specify it, Firefox will prevent this attack. Chrome has not implemented a fix for this, uh, and it's about to be fixed uh, 2020, sometime early 2021. That's the current uh, understanding. So, But here you have the information how to actually mitigate this problem. I hope this was sort of interesting and useful. That's all there is uh, for tap nabbing. Uh, subscribe to my channel smash the like button let me know if there's any particular kind of topics or attacks you would like me to cover uh, that's it have a great day